Hun, guess what? Somebody on my blog called me a fat ass yesterday. <laughs> it's just a troll. So we need to go for more walks, I guess. Stop eating pizza. Somebody on my blog yesterday or the day before left a comment on one of my recent videos where I was talking about why we're in Guam and medical care and all that. And uh, <clears throat> he called me a fat ass. Wait, wait, wait. Hang, hang, hang on a second. Did you just say I was fat? Well, uh, yeah, you, you are pretty fat. And I deleted his comment. So I'm guilty of censorship. But I didn't delete his comment because he called me a fat ass. I deleted his comment because he called me a privileged twat. Okay, I understand I might have gained some weight during this COVID crisis. Maybe, you know, all them years of cortisone shots probably uh, have contributed to my weight gain. Uh, and maybe a pizza or two. If you keep up that lifestyle of pillaging and giant turkey legs, you'll be dead within a month. I know I'm overweight. The racquetball courts are closed. I can't do anything but walk and bike and, uh, and eat. So, uh... You're going to expire in a month. <laughs> so I'm going to go for a walk this morning. I'll take care of that fat ass problem. The privileged twat problem. Can't do nothing about that. Got a new route for our w morning walk. This is all uphill, almost a straight mile. And uh, I think it's like over 400 feet in elevation. And we're still climbing. This route is about, I think, 3.4 miles, according to my Strava app, and about half of that is uphill. And I know there's water at the top, because Terry's got my water bottle, so that means I have no choice but to walk to the top to get a drink of water. Hello, water lady. Can I have some water? Amusement parks are open, but with no tourists, it's going to stay closed. All right, we're almost down at the bottom. Bottom of this hill, anyway. Now we got this hill to worry about. But it's all downhill. It's a good thing. No spot of... Uh, no bars are open, but massage parlors are all open. Every one of them's got an open sign. There's one over there. Second floor, open. And there's another one up there. Shotsu therapy. And here's another one. The sign inside says open, so I guess you gotta get through the gate. Almost. Now we're almost down at the bottom of the hill. This is the Dusitani, which is the quarantine hotel here in Guam. The main quarantine hotel. Been three years in Guam, haven't been to TGIF yet. That's because there's so many places to eat here. We haven't even eaten at the Hard Rock. We've been in there to buy some shirts and stuff. I've never eaten there. Gucci bag. A Gucci bag. Okay. Oh, they're out of business. Sorry. She's, uh, I'm on a walk and she's looking for purses. She passed up the Louis Vuitton handbag store. She says because they have ugly prices. There's some of them handbags with the ugly prices. Darn, Club Romeo and Juliet shut down. Oh well. We can check out the Green Lizard up here. I hear they've still been open, or they have been open. Probably because they're classified as a restaurant bar. Lots of lights flashing on and off in there. Where they have food and grog. 
and uh, bands. They have bands on the weekends, I think. All upstairs. I think we got to go upstairs. I'll explain a little bit about the the confusion, the bureaucratic confusion now. If you're a, a pub and beer garden that serves food, you're closed. If you're a restaurant, entertainment spot that serves uh, beer, you can be open. See, find out take on one. Oh, she found more handbags. Gucci. Here's a place I've never seen as many times as I've walked by here. I didn't know this place existed. So we're gonna check it out. It's definitely off the beaten path. You can't see it from the road. But I gotta put this on my bucket list. Anybody that's hidden in the jungle this far and can still survive must have good hamburgers. I think Olive Garden stole the slogan from the Philippines. The Filipinos always say, let's eat. And this is how people are surviving on the restaurant scene in Lower Tumon. Uh, liquor stores and massage parlors are open. <clears throat> There's another one open. The Orchid Spa and Massage. There's back to back massage parlors, one there and one there, both open. Another spa. First one, when I first came to Guam, thirty nine dollars for porto. What's that, hun? This is my first restaurant when I first came to Guam for like thirty nine dollars per person. Oh. I thought that was too much money. Well, still is a lot of money. But not anymore, though, right now. Well, it's all you can eat steak, right? Yeah. Not, not anymore. And another massage parlor. Here's a place we have never eaten. Uh, and there's two of them. I think there's another one we passed one, way back on our walk, but uh, the ramen house, Fuji Ichiban. And it happens to be across the street from uh, Subway. I guess you know which one I'm taking. I'll take the Ichiban. Have you ever seen a Guamamon? Kind of like a Pokemon, the Guamster. Another massage parlor over there. And yet another massage parlor. And yes, they're open. While I'm busy looking for massage parlors, Terry is like a mile ahead of me there. I gotta catch up. One of the biggest, hardest hit uh, businesses on Guam, in addition to bars, have been rental car companies. Nobody's renting cars because there are no tourists. And another massage parlor. The cheapest massage I have found listed on Guam here is $35 for one hour. But most of the signs I've seen have, uh, most of the signs I see are $50 and up, 50, 60, $75 for 60 minutes. And if, I'm not really sure if they all come with a, uh, you know, at the end. Oh, maybe this one does, because this out back around the corner, the secret massage parlor. And here we are, back at our starting point. And it's going to be, I think, about 3.4 miles when I look at my Strava app. Oh. Another massage parlor. Anyway, we're done. And as we're getting ready to leave, out jumps another massage parlor. They're everywhere.
What are you doing? Stealing flowers. Stealing flowers? And there's the result of the the morning walk. The morning pick, I should say. And it seems like every time we go on a walk, we wind up with more plants. I don't know. It's going to be a jungle back here eventually. That one, I know she got Home Depot.